How nice is this place? It's like a playground. Yeah, friend! I've literally traveled a thousand miles. Oh, yes! Look at the size of it! G'day and welcome back to another episode getting back to basics. Today we're out on the Great Barrier Reef. Good news is the weather as you can see is absolutely perfect. Um, for those that are new to the channel we've been living out of the Salty Dingo 17 foot vessel for the past today's day 88 so almost three months now. We haven't had weather like this too often so we're very very excited to get out here. This spot where We've just found, actually reminds me of a spot we dove a couple of months ago. There's like this channel that comes through the reef. Of course, the current comes through. That's a great sign for heaps of fish life. So pretty shortly, we're going to throw a, a wetsuit and mask on and jump in and, and see what we've found here. But this place looks absolutely magic. We're going to be fishing. We're going to be diving. We're going to be having an awesome time. It's going to be an epic day. Hope you guys enjoy it as much as we do. How incredible is this place? <laughs> Looks like there's a big cave that goes through the reef here as a swim through. Looks like it goes about 30 meters. Let's check it out. How nice is this place? It's like a playground. I've never seen so many trout as well. It's amazing. Oh, it's a really nice bommy. Brand's hooked up to something big. Woo! You're going good, you're going good. It's only 35 meters deep. Oh, oh we've got color. It's not a shark. Oh, there's a shark on it. Oh, it isn't. Okay. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it was a really nice mackerel. Oh, bugger, it's such a shame. Do <laughs> it. Look at the shark biting the boat. Look at the shark. Oh, you want it. Oh, bugger. Alright, we might take these hooks out and let him have it. having a bit of a troll down the reef edge and literally as we were letting the line out it started screaming a whole lot quicker than it should have and um, this beautiful Spanish mackerel jumped on. Unfortunately he was bleeding a fair bit when we, when we brought him in and the sharks were right up his backside so we've kept him. Um, he's going to be sashimi for lunch and then we'll take him back to the sand cave and we'll get him for dinner as well. Beautiful fish. The snorkel we had on this reef here is absolutely incredible it's so so good but just jumped out of the water gonna have a little bit of a line fish for a little while and then um, we're gonna move spots where there's an even gnarlier drop off and um, yeah we'll be getting in the water there shortly which should be pretty amazing but for now hopefully we catch another fish 
check out the weather out here. We're on the very outer reef. It's literally just past this here is just the drop off into an infinity um, depth of water. And it's such a nice day. Having a little troll. Friends on lunch duties. We've got Spanish mackerel cooked in lime juice. Ceviche, unamas, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty good. Friends happy. We got a nice size Spanish mackerel, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It's Ooh. a beauty, eh? I didn't fight that much for some reason. I didn't realize he was such a good fish. Nice. We, um, we'll get the hooks out of him and get him back in the water. Right, not many Spanish mackerel like you get released. He's off. Just when we caught that mackerel, we noticed uh, a heap of sharks underneath it, but also a heap of rainbow runner. Um, and other skills of fish, which is generally a really good sign for doggies. So um, we thought, what the heck, you know, there, there may be a chance of doggies here. So we're going to gear up. You never know, you might just get lucky. So we'll see underwater. It is very deep. We're straight off the drop off here. The water looks incredibly clear. Um, hopefully, there's some big dog tooth tuna. Just had one of the most incredible snorkels of the entire trip. This spot is absolutely magic. Like everywhere you look, there's just huge prized fish, coral trout, Mary sea perch, long nose emperor. And we're just snorkeling along and then a couple of big dog tooth tuna came and we weren't expecting it. We only had the real gun. Um, normally rule of thumb is I don't, don't target them on a real gun. You always seem to lose the fish. It doesn't end well, but Kind of broke my own rule there and this fish came in presented a shot really nice size one took the shot and then it took off it was a lot stronger than than i anticipated and actually emptied my reel but 
the um, the local sharks had other ideas. The sharks are just such a shame when you're blue water hunting because you don't know how bad they're going to be. Sometimes you pull in fish and um, the, the sharks won't even be onto it. The doggy had got to the very end of my reel and I just managed to turn it and um, it was just starting to pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. You could feel it coming, coming, coming. And then just when it was out of sight there, the line starts going of like a shark nado. And I was like, oh, bugger. And the fish is gone. And then, um, yeah, Fran and I sort of just catching our breath on the surface for a minute. And then we look down and then there's these like a shark nado vortexing coming straight up at us. There's like 10 big whaler sharks, there's silver fringe whalers and all sorts coming right up, mouths open, chomping. They'd obviously just finished with the tuna and um, were coming in for, for something else. They came pretty close, it was, it was really, really sketchy then. So we um, had to retreat to the reef edge and come back to the boat now. Unfortunately, the GoPro died at the, the worst possible time there. So I've just dropped anchor, which means we're wrapping up another epic day. Yeah, on the outer reef, some of that snorkeling we did was just absolutely mind-blowing. Like, the amount of fish life there was incredible. Normally, if you see, like, one coral trout like that back where I'm from, it's amazing. And But there was, like, there would have been, like, maybe 40 or 50 of them on one little small section. Schools of Maori sea perch, long-nosed emperor, just incredible, incredible diving. The weather, believe it or not, tomorrow is meant to be better. So, we're going to head straight back out to a new spot, but once again, out wide, off the drop-off. And um, yeah, we might give dog tooth tuna a crack tomorrow. Uh, it's marlin season, so m we might have a cry for a marlin. Could be yellowfin, could be mahi mahi, could be absolutely everything, or I could just be dreaming. But anything um, is possible out on that outer reef. That's why I love it so much. So anyway, I'm gonna leave the cameras on board to charge here. We've got Spanish mackerel for dinner. Um, but I do want to get going before it gets any later. It's six o'clock and that's just about shark o'clock. So yeah, I want to get in there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, we'll see you bright and early in the morning. <laughs>